leadership mean to you? For me, leadership is having a good plan uh, and being able to articulate what that plan is. So good communication skills uh, and, and backing yourself with that plan as well. Who's mentored you or supported you through this whole journey? My first job out of high school was straight into race cars. I was a driving but also mechanicing as well. And, and my boss, Brett Lupton, um, who, was, uh, who owned, the, owned the business and, and worked on my race cars, um, and was a very much a lead by example type of guy as well. And I learned that there's no substitute for hard work and that um, preparation is key. And then more recently, it was actually someone from a football club, from the Hawthorne Football Club, Chris Fagan, who's the director of coaching at Hawthorne. Uh, we did quite a bit of work together as how I could improve myself personally as a leader and what skills that I could uh, action when things weren't going well. You know, understanding that everyone's rowing the boat in the same direction and ultimately you'll get to where you want to be. And so why did you join B-School? I joined B-School because when I wanted to look for somewhere with a bit of leadership uh, direction and skills, there wasn't anything around. I couldn't really find any sort of structure at all right. that would help me improve myself as a, as a person, as an athlete. When B-School actually contacted me and said, oh, we would like to hear more about your story. Well, this is what I was looking for when I was trying to improve myself. So yeah, if my case study can help someone learn going forward, then yeah, I absolutely want to be part of it. So Garth, I'd love to ask you about a story or an anecdote and in a particular point in time where either you displayed great leadership or leadership was displayed very well to you. I just started working on, on race cars and, and, and my boss at the time, Brett Lupton, um, was sort of gave me a little bit of rope, I guess, and, and let me hang myself effectively. I, <laughs> I, I was doing some changes to this car and, and ultimately I um, I didn't do it correctly. Looking back now, I could see what he did. He was just sort of from afar looking at what was going on, letting me hang myself. Uh, we sent the car out onto the track, it didn't run properly, there was a drama in the gearbox. We came back and he sort of said, now pull the gearbox apart and tell me what you did wrong. And I said, well it wasn't what I did, it was oh, yeah, clearly so something else has failed and but he knew full well what had taken place. So I pulled the gearbox apart and um, un found my mistake and, uh, and very, real, uh, very quickly understood that um, I didn't know everything and I wasn't, um, didn't, wasn't 10 foot tall and I wasn't bulletproof. Um, and that I needed to basically listen to what he had to say. It was a great example because it, it stuck with me forever. It was, um, you don't know everything, and if you don't know it, feel free to ask. Brilliant stuff, great life lesson, thanks for sharing. Cool, thanks.